Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather at 5, 5 days and 5 minutes on this Friday evening, the 14th of March. And severe weather is the big deal uh, on the weather maps uh, today, tonight and for tomorrow into Sunday as we have a, a pretty powerful storm system that is developing in the plains and heading up uh, into the uh, western Great Lakes. And for tonight, we have a very large area of moderate risk for severe weather from southern Iowa into Illinois, Missouri, western Kentucky and Tennessee, northeastern Arkansas, down into Mississippi, and a small portion of northeast Louisiana. The enhanced risk goes out further to the east uh, into Kentucky, Tennessee, and Alabama. And uh, there is also a tornado risk of up to 15%. And in that 10 to 15% zone that you see, the hatched area, uh, there is elevated risk for EF2 to EF5 tornadoes. And uh, this is pretty serious stuff, but uh, it actually pales with tomorrow, the Storm Prediction Center. And this is only the third time uh, in the last 25 years that the Storm Prediction Center has done this, putting a high risk for severe weather in their day two forecast, because this is for tomorrow, not tonight. Uh, a high risk across uh, central uh, from central Mississippi through central Alabama, moderate risk, much larger from eastern portions of Louisiana and southeast Louisiana, across uh, much of the rest of Mississippi and Alabama into western Georgia. The enhanced risk, enhanced risk pushes further north into Tennessee. And here, too, uh, we have a, a very elevated tornado risk, uh, a 30 percent risk. Uh, area being indicated for tornadoes. You that is a very very high number. We don't often we rarely see the thirty percent risk. Maybe once or twice uh, every couple of years it pops up. And I just want to go back. Uh, I just want to give thanks to uh, Timothy Veltman, who's one of my regulars on my subscription platform, who uh, posted this for me. Uh, the last two times that. SPC has put up a slight, a high risk in their day two forecast was for a severe weather event on April 7th of 2006. And you can see where all the activity was uh, in the Tennessee Valley and in parts of the deep south and extending up into the Appalachians. There were 91 tornadoes that were reported. Uh, the other time was on April 14th, 2012. And in this case, it was from West Texas on up through Oklahoma, Kansas, and into parts of Nebraska and Iowa. 153 tornadoes were reported in that particular severe weather event. So it's pretty serious stuff here we're talking about. Uh, tonight's severe weather is beginning to break out now. Uh, and as we look at the HRRR model, you can see where it's concentrated there up in Missouri and Iowa and Illinois. As low pressure, very intense low pressure, runs up into southern Minnesota, there's not a whole lot of other precipitation going on. You'll notice there's very little snow on the backside. There's very little overrunning rain ahead of it uh, because there, the Gulf of Mexico is not completely open. That is going to be different tomorrow. The Gulf of Mexico opens up, and that's why we see the flare up of severe storms. There you see them in Mississippi. Uh, and in Alabama, and pushing up into Kentucky, and then another band breaks out in Alabama and heads over through northern Georgia uh, tomorrow night. Uh, and then that whole line swings eastward across Georgia. And then Sunday, of course, the risk day shifts to the East Coast, where at the moment, SPC has a slight risk of severe weather uh, indicated. Uh, so again, uh, very, very rough weather indeed. And continuing on the uh, theme of Sunday for the East Coast. This is Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. on the GFS model uh, showing uh, thunderstorms. This is the GFS's representation of what the radar will look like. And you can they'll back it up so you can see the whole thing play out uh, starting from tonight as that first band goes up uh, well to the north into the Great Lakes. Then you have the uh, Saturday thunderstorms across the deep south and into the Tennessee Valley and the lower Ohio Valley. And then from there, it's up and down the Appalachians and along the East Coast, reaching the coast by Sunday evening. 
and then moving offshore uh, Sunday night into Monday morning with improving weather conditions after that. And for the East Coast, uh, I'll go back to uh, SBC's uh, forecast here uh, for Sunday. Uh, SBC has a slight risk. I think they're going to probably add an enhanced risk, perhaps for areas in Virginia and North Carolina, maybe even into South Carolina. They have a slight risk of severe weather from northern Florida to uh, southern parts of Maryland. Marginal risk uh, has been pushed up further north. Now, they have actually paired this back. Uh, earlier today, they had the slight risk up into southern New Jersey and the marginal risk all the way up the Hudson Valley. But I think what they're saying here is that maybe the warm front is going to have a little bit of trouble moving up into New England. Uh, so they've paired it back for now. We'll see how this all plays out as we uh, go through uh, the next couple of days. So bear in mind, uh, it's going to be a rough go. In the meantime, the rest of this afternoon and evening, uh, some low clouds going on in the mid-Atlantic states, keeping temperatures along the coast in the 40s. Uh, the northeast uh, has broken out into some sunshine today. It's been a pretty nice day overall, but expect the low clouds to come in again overnight and tomorrow morning. And you can start to see the beginnings of some heavy thunderstorms developing uh, in eastern Kansas as of uh, 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. And that's that band for tonight that's going to be swinging through Missouri, Illinois, and Iowa. Uh, with the, this first round of severe weather. The Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back on Sunday night at 7.35 p.m., so that'll be just in time to deal with the severe weather that'll be occurring uh, along the uh, East Coast. We'll see you then.